folks, Boomer here, and Lightbulb. This is NBA Playoffs in 2K Sports Style of Game 3. This time, we're ready for our final game in Day 1. The Wolves are facing at Phoenix to play against the Suns. At Footprint Center, another game courtesy down. Now this is what we are calling it now. Kevin Durant with Devin Booker. These are the only twos of a matchup that's going to have a hard time to take. But what will they have now? And now for this time, it's going to be in between the difference in between. A harder range between Carl Anthony Towns against Kevin Durant. And Grayson Allen is on Jaden McDaniels. Anthony Edwards is on Bradley Beal. Devin Booker on Mike Conley. And the center guard position is Joseph Nurkic and Rudy Gobert. Now let's find out who takes this win with another takedown. Next commentary for the last part, I will have this Son of Beast along with Paintbrush and Me Phone will be on the other side of it as also. It's going to be excellent right now. You got to judge on what it is. And as of right now, it will be David Aldrich here on a sideline with the last part of the game. Now let's get handle this. Let's see who wins this game. Game 3, Suns, Wolves, starts now. And a look behind the curtain here. Final preparations for the challenge ahead. Hoping to come out of the gates strong. It's coming in there, so we're ready to have that one started. Suns and Wolves in the locker room, ready to start. Good evening everyone, it's Paintbrush and I'm here with Sun Beast and Meat Phone. This is NBA on 2K Sports, coverage of the NBA Playoffs. David Aldridge is here on the sideline as also. It's a great matchup and we are ready to see who takes this win in Phoenix, Arizona. Here are the starting groups in between. Mike Conley is with Anthony Edwards. Vance McDaniels with Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert Center. Bradley Beal is with Devin Booker. Dan Durant. He's also along with uh, another one calling for you all the name golf goes with Nurkit. And finally, we have all you call for Grayson Allen. And here we go. Game three starts now in Arizona. Bradley Beal starts things up here in the center. On the top of it finds Nurkit. Nurkit trying to roll it in. The shot. This one's off the mark. Rebounded by Carl Anthony Towns. So Towns will give it off to Conley. Conley takes a swing off to McDaniels. McDaniels swings it back. Conley finds it back to Towns. Towns swings across. Three for Edwards. And this will start in the same range for Minnesota. It's Phil Gold Ranger here for Anthony Edwards. Starts things up. You know, powerfulness is not always trying to be how great it is because that has to be on a lookout range when you have it all. Mm, just what you always can say now, Anthony Edwards has been looking like he's unstoppable on that patient moment. May not be what you wanted here. Now Towns swings against to Edwards. Edwards gives the pass off to Towns. Towns with a layup and a great defensive drive effort, but it's not knocked out. Cat now swing back to Conley. Conley, here's a shot for Edwards, number two in a row. That's five points for Anthony Edwards. Mike Conley with the assist. Now, if you're looking over here at Anthony Edwards, he's been looking like he really wants to get this thing overdone. And the powerful it is, it may not be what you're getting, but it's just the hard part of it that could get out of here too soon. It may not be what you were looking for, but it can't be that important when you're finding someone. Yeah, I just have to get a great feeling of agreement. If Conley does it, he has to make sure he does the right thing. After a slam down by Nurkic, here's McDaniels. Six on the shot clock. The bounce pass behind Cap for three. Doesn't hit that up that time. His rebound puts up by Devin Booker. He's in the corner now, finds Bradley Beal. Finds it back to Durant. Durant. Step up for two, and he'll take his first bucket in. Kevin Durant with his first bucket in game three against the Wolves. Now that's when you always see that coming, because that's when he knows when Kevin Durant has that finish off, he makes that one his good foot separate, 
in between for any light line and for that shot that he's still going for. That's a great look, and he, he makes it drive it clean. Gobert fights Conley for three. And he will have to dish it off for the first three-pointer. Makes a switch. 8-4 is a score. I don't say that Mike Conley was able to do what his three-pointer is making. It's a lot of like a, a hard deception. May not be what you're looking for. Now, here's Devin Booker. Gives the pass. Now get your winner and dunk that. After a pass by Booker, it is an 8-2 game. Beats trail by two. Oh yeah, I gotta see that coming out there. And Nurkic is put it in for a fiery Phoenix here. Now finds Conley. Conley swings a pass to Towns. Towns gives it back to get Edwards. Here's a three from McDaniels. And it's off the rim and it's rebounded by Nurkic. That'll be his first rebound and now here's the win. Off to the rolling and then, oh, what a great defensive effort here. But no block projection. Well, it's almost going to be clear at that point because that is almost going to turn things over. It may not be what you're looking for of who has that block, but that's going to take a lot of time to get a pressure. Edwards finds a pass to Towns. Towns with the lay. It goes in. Yes, Carl Anthony Towns has his first bucket. Now the timeout will be called by Phoenix Suns with just only 4.11 to go. It's always to a good start for Minnesota. They're fighting for it. They really wanted to get that one all down. They're pushing it in there for a lot of them. And as of right at the moment, if you're sticking here for the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs, we got your next game that's coming up right away. And we've got a great matchup for you. We've got the number one to take on as, they, as the Madison Square Garden may be hosting the Rangers and the Tampa Bay Bucks. That'll be the first two games on its way, so we will definitely will send you around to the other side for a double header of the game. And then, we've got our next part of the game here, that we have it all covered in here, the Panthers and the Leafs, back at Emirates Arena in Sunrise, Florida. They lost that game against the, Tim the Maple Leafs in game four, but this should be it. A win or go home for Florida Panthers? Well, you might say it always. They've made it all the way down to the NBA, sorry, the NHL Stanley Cup Finals. This is no joke. Not even anybody can definitely try to like, keep that one on the roll. You know how the lineup is? It starts to be a little bit more uncomfortable when you're definitely looking it over. I have a lot of strange feeling if there is another takeover, that might do it for all. i love to see them win. If they have it back, maybe it could be the Hurricanes that can definitely play against the Panthers. We love to have that one there back too. And now Bradley Beal will have the ball. Shuffles in motion. The screen for Nurkic. Here's a chance, and he's fouled. Rudy Gobert, first personal foul on Minnesota, as the Suns will take their first field trip to the free throw line. Bradley Beal have a little bit of slow institute. The angle, it doesn't happen to be one of them because it just happened to go with a lot of takeovers in between. I mean, that's not what they always want to do, but they've got to make sure they have it all lined up. Two shots coming up for Bradley Beal after playing with the Washington Wizards. He's now ready to take this look on his next single, to face against the other team for our next regular season. You know, one of the better players of the year for Bradley Beal, he's been really like all to his full lineup. How it makes sense is, after Chris Paul leaves, then Bradley Beal wants to take his own effort. He has taken a lot of his time and he really wants to get this one through. I would really appreciate if Bradley Beal has another game playing against the Washington Wizards. They all missed him, but glad to have him back. It's a welcome back to Washington, D.C. It's definitely a great trip whenever you go for it. Second free throw sends in. Here's Conley as they lead by two, cut the digit in half. He finds Cat. In corner, finds Edwards. Moving ball back over, back to get to Conley. Want to make a new change, find it again. Bounce pass stolen by Durant. Here comes Grayson Allen. The step back, and he's fouled. Bucket one. Grayson Allen show what he's to going. That Devin Booker made a great one attempt. Oh, Devin Booker can't really say that Grayson Allen just saw that. Devin Booker is a star. He just made that one in there. But that is an unlucky foul contact here for Minnesota. 
That change is over. You're never going to mess that up. Another team foul calls on Minnesota as now Phoenix Suns will have another trip to the free throw line. Shooting wide for Devin Booker. As the new players are checking in, a couple players have checked in, a couple players checked out for the Suns and for the Wolves. Find the lane. One stop. Misses that one, only ties this game for 10. It's easy enough when he makes that shot because Devin Booker was really setting up for his foot angle. It's not what he does for most of the time, but that's what he has to do to try to keep it going. Now the pass back again to Reed. Over Beal. Solid performance as Reed takes it back. Edwards now finding it over again, looking back to Conley. Eight to shoot. Conley over with the shot. It's good. Conley has five points. Under 3.30 to go, we're back up at 5 2. Minnesota's going to keep on training out without the Wilds. I guess that the Wolves may be coming in there if it get, if it get there. Hooker misses that shot. Reed will have his third rebound, and now he has it back to Conley. The screen hopping out for Reed. Finds a pass to Reed. Takes a shot. Anderson on the outside, down to six. The corner three, McDaniels, it's good. Range outside, puts it in. That's his first three-pointer of a night. And it's Anderson with the assist. That's all that face comes in because McJaden McDaniels, he's really like all into pursuit. It's not what he does for one of his techniques, but got to make sure he gets there through. Oh, what a drive by Kevin Durant. I love it when he does layup. Here's Mike Conley, he now finds it again to Anthony Edwards. Edwards fakes it back in, Conley back to Anderson. Now finds Conley. Conley trying to pull it back over again, back to Anderson. Six on the shot clock. The three for Edwards, and it goes off the rim and it goes back again to Booker. We are under two minutes remaining in the first quarter as Peter will have it over. The step of two. Good solid D by Anthony Edwards. He has the second rebound, and now he will have it again to Ant Kyle Anderson. Anderson looking it over. On your banks, back to Edwards. The bounce pass to Reed. Shoots over to Wright. Now he rolls in and out. Now about the little rebound is Eubanks. O'Neal, here's the Wright. Oh, when he makes a slam. That is going to be like a line change that Durant does it all. Now you just cannot afford it because Durant has been really been slamming it through. He doesn't want that because he's really up to a challenge. Got to make sure he got that one in the eye, Chance. Six on the shot clock. He's got to make the shots in. McTagnell's up. He'll have it back. Now find it again. Conley back to Anderson with under a minute. McTagnell's. Want to try something a little bit different here. He finds Conley, and a shot goes in. Conley has seven points. A great pass off by McDaniels. Now, it's just to say about what McDaniels has done, it's really what he makes out on a good open look. This offense can't let that one spool down. It's what he does, make that one feel good. Beal on Edwards. The spin drives in. A solid performance effort for Anthony Edwards. Under 30 seconds left to remain in the first quarter as Reed will have the ball. He gives it off to McDaniels. McDaniels swings it off again to Edwards. Edwards swings again to Anderson. Here's another one. Back to shot. Again to Conley. Here's a shot. Conley misses the two. And Durant. Will he have a range to tie it up? And that hits off the rim. That is the first quarter as the Minnesota leads up by three. 17 14. We'll take a quick break and we'll get back to you soon. Right after this. We're welcoming you back here at Footprint Center as we're about to start the second quarter. It's all for our turns to be a Minnesota and Phoenix run in Arizona. Let's have your take here, guys, of how we did. Well, better over seasons later, I was saying that this would have been like a hard chance for them to score it. But the big try is not really like commendable. It's what they scored stud. 
every team you get there is just really that hard. And it's just really like in, in terrorizing position. It may not be what you're getting because it really is turning to be over ever you have. But don't get uncomfortable if you do have it up. With a starting in the group advanced big clock then, he's with on the other uh, player by, the, by, by Eric Gordon. Rudy Gobert, he's with on uh, new banks. Oh, I'm sorry, new kicks. And then we have is a Koji. He's with on the other one again in front as Mar uh, Marquis Force. And downs on Durant and Allen on Alexander Walker. Shot winding down. That hits off the rim and it goes back again to Gordon. First rebound of the night finds Josh Koji. A Koji with the run. On a drive. Oh, give me that one! That's Rudy Gobert's first rejection of the game. Now this is what no one does have at all. You know that drive was gonna take it, but Gobert denied that one. It almost turned to be like a goaltending call, but they just did not see that play. Alexander Walker now finds Towns. Towns trying to roll back over again to Alexander Walker and a three for a horse. This one's off the rim and now it goes back again to Allen. You know, I was not even expecting what Rudy Gobert was doing. This was a hard rejection, but don't take too much offense if you know it. Here's the drive. Oh my! Grayson Allen! A two-hand jam down! Now I just did not see what you do. That is like unbelievable. Just keep on slamming, just don't take a chance to do it. And an unbelievable moment from AT&T, 5G, the ultimate slam cam. Morris, and now Towns with the ball. Still outside, finds Gobert. He finds a shot, and that will take it in here as Rudy Gobert will have his first bucket. The range that he has that one all in sight. Rudy Gobert is really trying to make his effort right out of him, but he can't let that one lose everything. Timeout call by Phoenix Suns with only 6.08 to go, passing a minute mark. As we're getting closer right now for tomorrow's day, we've got a number one coming up for you. We have the first part of the two games as we have the Sixers there playing against the Celtics at Philadelphia in Wells Fargo Center. Following along with the next game, we have another one to take you all for. And you know that calls for one of your best opponents in 2018. Cavaliers and the Pacers at Gamebridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana. That will be at 5.30 p.m. Then following along with the night's game, as we've got the Pelicans facing against the other team of the OKC Thunders in New Orleans at Smoothie Cane Center at 8.30 p.m. And finally, 10 p.m. will be the Nuggets facing against the Warriors at San Francisco at Chase Center. That will be out in the Bay Area, so catch all year round watching air on the completion of the postseason on the NBA playlist only on Son of Beast. And if you haven't missed it already, we got our new episodes coming back right now. Season 2 is returning for our new part of the events. If you already have your tickets down, congratulations, you are in, and we invited you. We hope you have a fun show, and also, it's going to be amazing. And all the tickets are already sold out, but thank you for so much of your time, and we look forward to you for the cast, the creators, and you'll enjoy it. Oh yes, I am ready to go into New York, baby. This is going to be my day to come back here for the second year to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoy your show here, my bud. Thanks so much, man. And now, back to it. Air ball's tip, and Gordon has it. Takes it on, ready to take the lead. And that one's off the mark. McLaughlin has his second rebound, and now we'll have it again to Gobert. 5.30 left to go in the first half. McLaughlin signs again to Alexander Walker. Walker, back again to Cap. The bounce pass finds Gobert. Over Nurkic, that cut and bounce makes it in there as Gobert with the second bucket. That easy one takes in for Gobert when that pounding drive needs to get there through. He had more room. He has a lot of intentional scoring drop. He made that one a lot easier to take it off. Three for Gordon. Hey, good. That side makes it in. It's now a tie game. 21. Now, this is what happens now. Eric Gordon can't be missing it all of each game. Just got to make sure you get it through. That's set. Now, finds again to McLaughlin. 
with the shot. And that one, tough shot made in as McLaughlin has his first bucket. And Morris with the assist. Well, Keith Morris really never seen what goes in. But I got a feeling they might be doing it again. And Durant got Gordon with the second bucket. It's a great effort for Eric Gordon to be making that one easier. Morris finds again to McLaughlin. 420 left to go in the first half. Finds an open pass for Cap. Against Durant. Trying to back out on him. To shoot it again. And that's good. Cap with four points on his second bucket. Phoenix trail by two with four minutes. And Allen up again. Good. Makes it in there at a great pace. And now tie game puts in. Lead off, then score, lead off, then tie, and it keeps on going and going. But that doesn't stop here. That keeps going and going. It is an endless way that they can keep on scoring again. Gobert dump in the corner. That one misses. Akoji with the rebound up at the airway. Here comes the win on the feet. Oh, what a layup! Made that one in there. And that is a great look in the contact drive. They're saying that Kevin Durant, he's like powerful enough. He's making that feel clean. And you know it. Timeout call by Minnesota Wolves. With under 330 to go. Now, they really are crazy emotional. The driving is not what you really want to do, but I have no idea how they are doing this. I mean, just take a look at how they did. They would have been playing like, okay, I see what you're looking for. Maybe you wanted to just get some alive buckets in there. There's no way that I really have to see what goes in now. We're nearing down to the end of the first half. As coming up will be the halftime show. We've got is Ernie Johnson with Shag and Kenny. That will be all here, here on 2K Sports for our first half statistics. The battle fight to fight victory. May not be what you wanted, but it can be yours. When you take it all, you have to show what the response is. So that is the first half part of this game, as we have a great look in between. So that will be the next one on its way, coming up after the first half is being completed. As now with some new changes here, as four players have checked out, four players have checked in. McDaniels moves over with Edwards, and Conley has reached check back in for Gobert. Now he needs to have some more room out there looking for some help on the offense. They have to. You've got to make sure we have that when you're covered in there. If they don't have it, then it's going to be a problem with that. Finds a pass. Edwards for two. And that's good. That puts it up for the three-pointer. They're up ahead. You know this is how the easier does happen here. When this one keeps on coming out, you have to believe it, and you got to make sure you have it in there. Oh, and Beal had that slam down. Back and forth we go as Conley has the ball. Pitch off to Edwards. Conley alone makes the three. That is outside of the range with 10 points. And it's Edwards with the assist. Now that's what you're doing, and because nobody is here to guard on him, he just said, take a shot, and he did. That's what happens, he was all alone, and nobody's covering on him. That's the call in defensive breakdown on the set. Hooker for three. The other way, no good. Carl Anthony Towns with three rebounds, now finds Cunningham. The pass, here's Towns. Two-pointer makes it in here as Towns has six. And Conley with the assist. He's just going to have to keep on going in there if you get it done. And here's a shot. And a tough release for Royce O'Neal. That will be another two-pointer to catch it in. Now here's Conley. He'll find it over again to Towns. Towns slides back to Edwards. Edwards over now again to Conley. Conley try to back a bounce pass to Reed for the two. Good. Reed has his first bucket and Conley with another assist. Yeah, he's going everywhere right now. Mike Conley in danger. Gotta keep an eye on it. Look for open room. And Grayson Allen with the ball. 
Here's the pass to Eubanks, and that one goes in for the drive. Allen with the assist, 35-33, coming down by two. Here's Conley now finds again to Anthony Edwards. Pulls a pass back to McDaniels. Over and out again. Ball's tip. Rebounded by Towns. Towns sliding it back right now. It's looking over again to McDaniels. Here's a drive. And he takes it in. Takes it over for Jada McDaniels. He has five points. There's a lot of switch off motion. That Jada McDaniels really had that one with the cut in drive. That one is never going to stop him to just slow him down. They really have to make sure. This one is nowhere to go near him. Alec. Takes a shot for three. O'Neal on Towns. Six on the shot clock. Off with the shot. Rebounded again. Who makes for two? It's good. They are back down by two. Racing down towards the end of the first half. It's a 37-35 game. Now it will we'll find again to Reed. Reed's lead back over again to Edwards. And now he gets off to the tennis. McDaniels slides again to Conley. Swinging in motion now, finding over. The pass to Reed. Reed with a shot. Fadeaway is in there, and that is another bucket for Reed. There's Reed drive, there's a fadeaway drive, and there's another take. That's going to have to leave a mark in it. And Booker misses the three. So that ends the first half, 39-35. Stand by for the third quarter. And a chance now to catch you on the sideline, David Aldridge. David, who do you have? Thank you, Kevin. Carl, you guys have built a lead. What is the key to maintaining or increasing it going it forward? I mean, don't change the result. So stay together, keep passing the ball. Uh, keep playing great defense, so just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. We had the advantage in the first half. We'll see if you can keep that advantage in the second half. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks. All right, David. Thank you so much. We'll see you all later for the second half of the period. And now the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Bernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the chip, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. It was a closely contested first quarter for Minnesota. Their biggest lead in the first, five points. They were slightly better in the second. Not a big difference between these two teams. And uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Timberwolves? You have to love a team that pounds the offensive That's going to gain you extra possession. And check this out. Sometimes, just having more offensive chances than your opponent wins the basketball. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Phoenix? Well, a lot of their points came to transition and dictated the pace of the game. It was a fast pace. Put the defense back on its heels. I say keep attacking the second half. Do not slow down. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And if you're just tuning in for the third quarter, we welcome you back in Phoenix. And we're about to get to see what this coverage is. Mike Conley already been starting things up here for the first half, but he might be looking for his way to get this second half a better record. You know, the offense may not be what you are looking for, but Mike Conley's been impressed already. I mean, he's really happy with that final looking open man. Yeah, same thing to do. Gotta go with that one. We start things off for the second half. As Edwards is on Bradley Beal. Booker is with Von Conley. Venice Towns on Durant. Grayson Allen, he's with Virginia McDaniels. And Rudy Gobert on your team. Tries to go back over now. Conley. Conley for two. And he will take another one in there. So that's number 12 points in the game. As this one, that's his fifth shot of the game. It's just really that hard that when you know from McConley that Mike Conley doesn't have any anything to go with it. Oh! Oh my! I was seeing that before. Kevin Durant, my goodness. But as I said here before, Mike Conley has been doing really well in this hard chance. His efforts is not going to keep on continuing if he gets more of it increasing. He's really powerful enough, but they really are dedicating it to give it a lifetime. Not for anyone who really gets things hangs off, but it's a hard one to take. Here's McDaniels for the two. And a solid two-point effort for McDaniels. 
that's seven points. It's a 47-37 game. Well, they're all saying of Jaden McDaniels, he's been really like going over. Pressure doesn't happen until McDaniels shows up. Now Nurkic will find it again to beat. Steele takes his way down towards in the center. For the shot, the rebound for Nurkic, pulls it back again. The layup, trying to roll it back in there. And a solid performance by Rudy Gobert. That's his third rebound. The very 6.30 to go. Now finds it again to McDaniels. McDaniels now finds it over. Conley switches it back to Edwards. Edwards for the two. And good. Makes that one in there. That's 10 points for Anthony Edwards. And Mike Conley, unbelievable moment. He has another assist to take. Durant misses the two. The offense is not picking it up for him. That Mike Conley is just sawing that. Durant's missing everywhere. And this part of the first game, he only had eight out one win to start things off. But it just can't let it go flowing away if you know how to stop one. Now finds again to Towns. Here's a cut for the two. And up and flutter in as Towns has eight points. Durant try to slow it down, wants to go for another one, and that one will not make a throw down, he will only have a two. Pull up back jumper, just let it go in. 47-39 is the score with 5.15 left to go. And Conley will now find again at Edwards. Faces over to McDaniels. McDaniels swings it over now back to Conley. Up and over cut pass to Gobert. Gobert skips again to Edwards. Edwards with a two, and that one scoops in. Edwards with a number two, that's 12 points. Phoenix Suns call their, sec their next timeout with under five minutes remaining in the third quarter. Well, they definitely need to do something out right now. They need to get this one timing in. Straight ahead, just call a timeout. Don't let anybody take over this at the same time. We'd like to remind you that the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports is brought to you by Starry Lines. American Express. Don't live life without it. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Some new changes for the Suns and for the Wolves as Eric Gordon's checked in. And now with the number one coming back in now, we have it all needed out for Kyle Anderson with Alexander Walker back on the court. Now Bradley Beal will have to try to figure out another way to get in there. Over Walker, here we go for their kick. Layup in! That is a close call, not out of the side of the rim, but he looks just go in. Well, that's what happened. The problem with this one can't turn to anybody. When they know first, one of the groups, it's just not what you really want to do. Just keep on coming in. Now, Conley will find again to Edwards. Edwards trying to give it over again to Anderson for the two. And that one will waste it in there with his first bucket. 51-41 as they trail by 10. Now Devin Booker will have his own chance. Switching gives up in another screen look as Nurki gone go bear. Passes to Beal. Beal trying to step back into it. Here's a drive. Oh! Ho ho! Bradley Beal, I like the throwdown I put in there. Now, if you're saying that when Bradley Beal made his throwdown, you have to love the throwdowns. They were all everywhere. I can't believe it that none of my contestants would never like that, including you. Well, if I would, I, I wouldn't even say that if I were you. I would throw down if I were taking it over from the world. Let it go wild. Oh, man. Not even when everybody calling for. They just can't let that one get away with that. Substitution New substitution on the court as now Royce O'Neal's checked back in for Bradley Beal. Josh Okoji is also checked in as also. Conley for the two. And he will take it in there. That is 14 points. 
Well, he's been really well at that point. I don't know if he slows down or not, but he's making a lot of two corners easy when you can. Driving step, not finding Royce or Neo. Block the pass. Alexander Walker on Gordon. Trying to go for some drive. The offense picks it up. Nurky go. Misses again. I never missed by Phoenix Suns. That's his fifth rebound for Rudy Gobert with under three minutes. Conley swings again to Anderson. Now he has it over now to Alexander Walker. Looks again, finds it on a for Edwards. Edwards swings a pass back to Conley. Conley for the two. And that will sink out. Back to Conley. Again to Edwards. Here's a drive. Oh! Oh! That is nowhere near. Anthony Edwards just had that crazy slam dunk. Well, I have a lot of feeling of it, but Anthony Edwards just had that one pouncing it down. That's going to paint on that rim for good. And a great replay here presented by AT&T, the 5G Slam Cam. We have a reporter for David Aldrich, as he's now been looking for, for Royce O'Neal. He's trying to get this way down, but his offense has been struggling for him for himself on a secondary lineup. It's not what he's tremendous. He has to make it clear. Yes, of course he does. Making it clear is just not always easy enough when you have it all to coming down. The tightest defensive effort is not always going to be stable to have that one marked up to the run. I know he's been really a bit patient again, but don't let this happen if this one keeps on coming back. The foul's called on Rudy Gobert, and now back to the free throw line will be Royce O'Neal. This is the first free throw. Now Rudy Gobert's checked out as Reed will check back in. And now for some couple players as Edwards is out. And Markeith Morris with James McLaughlin check back in. He makes it second. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Two minutes remaining in the third. As Morris will have that ball, now finding it again to Anderson. Anderson trying to roll back, now find Morris again to Alexander Walker. Walker spins across to Morris. For the two, the step back, puts it up. Alexander Walker in, makes the layup. Alexander Walker finally takes his first bucket in an appearance against the Suns. Now that's what the question is. What happened to Alexander Walker? He made that one an easy layup drive in reverse. He's gotten pretty clear on it. Gotta make sure he gets this done. And what a rejection for Morris. He had that first block of the night. After Rudy Gobert, it's Morris' turn to return that ejection shot. Now Gordon, he's on Morris. Gordon trying to work his way off. Open look to go Booker. Booker for the step back for two. A little miss by the Phoenix Suns. They're not getting really well at this point. The Phoenix Suns are having a little bit of difficulty to get there. They can't let that one slow down. Here's McLaughlin will now try to fix things up. And now back to Morris. Up and over head to heel to Reed. Three, Morris, layup, shot bucket line, and a foul puts up on Eric Gordon. Another team foul for Phoenix, Arizona. They're having a little bit difficult time right now. This is not going to be turning out great. It's going to be a lot of hard takeoffs in between. McDaniels just checked back in for Alexander Walker. One shot coming up for Mont Monte Morris. We'll have that one in there. He's also playing here for the Wizards here too. I mean, if you always expect it, how he just played for it, guys. Well, this is going to be a lot of a take, and I, I'm sure that it almost going to be sound and make sense if it's Marquise Morris, but it doesn't seem like he really is an all-in pursuit. I must say that he's already like a big fella, and he may have been playing it for one time. 
And just enough, it doesn't merely mention that he's really already putting up the pace in between. Got to make sure he has that one covered in there if he can do it this attacking again. Here's the three for McLaughlin. Good on the outside range as McLaughlin has five points. 63-44 as the crowd goes silent in the third quarter. Let's think of it this way. James McLaughlin just really had that one coming in through. He's already like impatient enough. He's just coming back in there just the time to go this run. Wow, what a dunk by Booker. Already been coming back in there. And there's Morris. Five seconds to shoot. Here's Reed. The two. Here's the shot. And Anderson misses the three. That is the third quarter. It is a cool tightness race in. They're already up ahead over the Suns, but we'll find out if the, the Suns have an answer back. It's a close game to say this, but we'll keep you keep your eyes steady for the fourth quarter. On 2K Sports, you're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Fourth quarter's next after this. Welcome you back here in Phoenix, Arizona. We're about to get settled down for the fourth quarter of the period. Three quarters complete. This is the last one for the playoffs of game three. And the starting groups in between of Anthony Edwards and Bradley Beal. And it's Kat with Nukin. Grayson Allen, he's with McDaniels. Then we have his colleague. He's along with Devin Booker. And finally we have his Anderson. And finally, it's Kevin Durant. Now with the start, here's Edwards. Takes these on, looks it over to Conley. Five on the shot clock. With the two, pulls up and in, makes a two-pointer in, as Anthony Edwards has made 16 points in a row. You know what the hard feeling does for Anthony Edwards, he's been really like in full, full pursuit. May not be what he's doing, but this may not be the day if he does more when he has. And a good shot made for Bradley Beal. Trying to put it back in for number two. Now Conley has it again to Anderson. From the corner and nearing the baseline. Off to another pass by Anthony Edwards. Looks again to Conley. Conley with the drive. Solid performance up around the D for Devin Booker. He's really like getting a lot of a hard ways today. It's just not getting enough pursuit here, but he's trying to get this one right away as he can. Just to do that one of a lot of focused time on attacks to get it through. Edwards finds Anderson. Tries to roll it across. Now back to McDaniels. Now he swings off to Conley. Conley tried to pull it for spin. Now finds Anthony Edwards. Bounce pass to Conley. Five to shoot. And Malaya makes it in for Matt Mike Conley. He has 16 points. And Edwards with the assist. You know, it just keeps on coming because he has four assists right now, but just trying to maintain its score as he has much done every of the previous games of the postseason. And a shot makes it in for Devin Booker. Number two pointer was made, and they are trying to get it back down by 17. Now here's Conley. He gives it off again to McDaniels. Looks it ahead. Now find Conley. Under six minutes to go, Anthony Edwards trying to work itself in. The bounce pass. Here's Cat. Layup scoops it in for Anthony Towns as 10 points is made. They are back up by 19. Yeah, all you have to do with the feeling for Carl Anthony Towns, he's been knocking it in there. And he's going to take a timeout right this moment after the Nurkin try. It's just have to be coming in there. I mean, don't go away from it if you have the call coming. Timeout call by the Minnesota Wolves, and they only have three timeouts left to remain, with under 5.30 to go. You know, it's just not the way that you are playing it for the offense, and I was really thinking of it, how could this be happening in between? I was really stunned of how they were doing. You know, it, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean like, he's been really like, practicing all alone. I mean, it just all uh, happens. When he takes his time, I mean, you're never going to let that one go for a win. It's just a hard one to take all of them, that's for sure. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by... State Farm. 
like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by Sour Patch Kids. Sour, sweet, gone. Substitutional changes as right now Rudy Gobert is on the court, ready to get back into the game. Now here's a look for Mike Conley. He will try to fix it up. Looks it over now, finding Towns. Towns shuffles his motion, looking back to Ed Anthony Edwards. Finds a pass now to McDaniel's. Up for two, and this one goes right in range. With another two-pointer in sight. It's now a 71 52 game. Kevin Durant scoot up for Allen and roll around in the net. After Durant's assist, it's now 71 54. Conley trying to look for its way down, now finding Edwards. Looks it again to Towns. Towns trying to roll over with the screen. Gives it off to Conley and a shot. He makes it in there. Conley with 18 points after Carl Anthony Towns. You know this pass doesn't really help that one, but that but you know Towns has been doing really well. Keep that one aside from you if you can. Sidestep in motion. Oh, Cat got it! And Edwards, here he comes. He's fouled. Kevin Durant with his first personal. And another team foul has been called for Phoenix Suns. Well, to finish off drive, you have to make it clear at the right timing. You know, it doesn't mean that like, he gets to the right timing and pursuit. It doesn't mean that he gets down to this right angle facility. But just note this, it's Carl Anthony Towns at that one scoring in the drop. He's got to make sure he does have it all. The next free throw coming up for Minnesota with only 4.16 left to go. He makes the first free throw. And say about Carl Anthony Towns, he's been really liked all for his better performance effort. He's been like pushing his way up towards to the next level. Yeah, I always gotta do, when Carl Anthony Towns practices, he always knows uh, he's gotta do a lot of routine. He's gotten very big at it, and he has gotten he got a lot of goals to make the reach. I'm really happy enough that Carl Anthony Towns have it all coming in to make a mission accomplished moment if he completed all of his work epic before the new season. Here's Booker, finds again to Durant, over Cat. The rebound takes it in for Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert has got his seventh rebound of the night, and now he will have it back again to Conley. Conley trying to work it off at the screen, now he finds Gobert. Gobert gives it now over again, now finding McDaniels. McDaniels. Over Bradley Peel, and that tough shot doesn't go in there. Another miss by Minnesota. And now on Booker for two. It's in the elbow. Ranging in right now with only 3 3 to go. Conley with 18 points, comparison off by Devin Booker with 8 points. He now finds it again to Towns. Towns finds it back to Conley. Conley needs some new changes. He gives it go to McDaniels. Up for two. Rolls in and out. Now Durant will have it. Here's Bradley Beal. Sliding it back. And here on the other side is Jared Allen. Grayson Allen, excuse me. Durant over Cat. Can't handle the two. Gobert with his eighth rebound. Now gives it off to Edwards. Here he comes. And slam down! Silence the crowd! You know, when Anthony Edwards usually gets that through, he just makes that slam. So, who's the teaching of the, of the boss night? You never escape, escape from me. Time off all by the Phoenix Suns with only 2.39 left to go in the fourth quarter. Having a lot of silent crowd here in Phoenix, Arizona. It's now a 77 56 lead. Now 
it's time to present your New Balance player of the game, Mike Conley. When Mike Conley has a point guard in position, he gets his team covered up. When he all does for the same thing, he's been pushing his way towards his regular season before the playoffs. And that's right, he's definitely 100% to get that one done. It's perfect for him, keeping it going. It's all for the lineup here as there is next playoff push. Turns to be all of his great technology and all for the once for Mike Conley to get this thing through. He'll be pushing it bound if he gets more in game four. Bradley Beal with an overlook, it's good. Here's Conley with the ball, under 2.30 to go. He's off to get into Cap. Cap making his way down, now finding Conley, and McDaniels will have it. Slides it back, now finding the end to Edwards. Edwards with the two, and that goes in again. Ebony Edwards with 20 points, and it's McDaniels with the assist. The enraged motion, you have to be more constitutional. you got to make sure you have that one in there to make there. You're definitely doing it really well. After an error miss by the Suns, here's an error pick for McDaniels. Off again to Conley, and it's not, oh, it's denied by Booker! Here's Beal, finishes off with the right hand of the drive. Mike Conley with the ball. Conley looking it over, not finding again to Towns. Towns trying to roll it over. Now he tries to put the step backing over again to Edwards. Looks again. Now finds McDaniels. McDaniels swings again to Edwards. Edwards for the layup. And that one puts a hard take for Nurkic. Now here's the win for the two. And go. Durant with another two points. 79-63 as he has 14 points. When Durant makes it finishing off. His percentage turns to like it's a close on set. You just make that one clear, and you can't let that one handle to get that one all you got. McDaniels with the ball. Puts his way back again to Edwards. Edwards, rolling it in. Now brings it over to McDaniels. Stay up in the drive, and good. Jaden McDaniels with 11 points with under a minute. It just happens now, McDaniels makes it finish. It's a clear look. Give a good target, and you got it. Durant for two, and this one missed again. Gets a go, here's Conley. Tight defense here on Durant, as he gets up another rebound with 30 seconds. And real open look, kaboom. That one takes another three-pointer for the Suns. It's 81-66. But the time keeps kicking down with only 20 seconds to go. And it will have to let the clock run down right now. It is now officially over in game three. Yeah, big, big, big surprising right now. This is not how it's going to happen. They've really been losing their stuff, and they can't let that one get out of the way. They're definitely going to have to say goodbye for now. And that will be the shot clock violation with the final substitution on the court. And here's Booker. He will finish it off, and that will do it. Your final score tonight is 81 to 66. Hope this one has turned to be great, but now they have the cutting lead up with the lead 2-1. Easy to say, Minnesota's been kicking back in the dust. He might be going for work to get it going. And a chance now to send you down to David Aldridge for a closing player of the game. Who do you got, David? Thanks very much, Rudy. This is a defense first team. You picked it up in the second half. What changes did you make at the half? Uh, I think I put in a focus on the front side defensively, and uh, we just have to come back and communicate and just be focused, you know, and that's what we did. Attention to detail, Rudy. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you so much, sir, David. And thanks for joining us here for the final game of day one. And it's all for everybody. Paintbrush, along with Sunapiece and, of course, Meatphone. This has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Thank you. Have a great evening, everyone.
Alright, thank you so much there guys, and I really appreciate that this one turned to be like a leadoff score for Minnesota Waltz. Yeah, it's exactly true. Just to let them know they have that handle it in between. Here's how they did with the total statistics. 64 and 55 was the free pointers and field goal range for Minnesota. Then free throws were even up here in each teams. Fast break in points and pay points in the paint with 15 and 40 for the Phoenix Suns. 10 second chance points for Minnesota Wolves, and then it's only 17 bench points here for the Phoenix Suns. Then it was 32 for the assist here of Minnesota Wolves. 10 defensive rebounds here for Phoenix Suns, over 6, but 23 defensive rebound puts over 14 for Minnesota Wolves. 3 steals for Phoenix, 4 blocks for Minnesota. No turnovers given in here for the Phoenix Suns, as they only had 2 points off. Then it was 2 team fouls for Phoenix Suns, 10 dunks were performed. 21 biggest lead for Minnesota Wolves with only 19.55 time possession for their team. You know, an absolute understanding what they're doing. They just got to improve it if they do it right. Now it's time for your three star plays of the game. I send it over to you, Boomer. All right, thank you. Third star player, we start things off here as we give it off to Kevin Durant with only 14 points, two rebounds, four assists, and steal. He only get done great. Only 7 out of 14 field goal remain, and only one three-pointer was given. 23 performance effort and two dunks. That was all he had to do. On for number two. The other side will now go over to the Minnesota chain. This time, we've got you someone that got it in. Mike Conley with 18 points, one rebound, 12 assists, and only 8 out of 13 field goals, two three-pointers, and two three-pointers from the other game. 43 performance run, and it's your New Balance player to game. He's been looking like he is like on a fire pressure when guards get it done. And your number one star. We go over right to the same team, and it goes to Anthony Edwards with 20 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, 1 block, 9 and 11 field goals, 2 out of 3 three pointers for each of the first and second half, 33 performance effort, and 2 dunks has made. He's going pretty good. Got to give him a credit. All right, thank you so much there, Boomer. It's been a one wild way to finish off for the Wolves as they lead it up here for 2-1 to one in the series. They're looking to pressure and see if they can close the gap here for the Phoenix Suns in Game 4 when we come back here after Game 3 is finished. So I appreciate to everyone here for supporting for this video here. If you have liked this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. And also, you can check out some other playlists like this below. The completion of the NHL and the new completion of the NBA postseason is now on in the playlist section. So you can watch that one here anytime. And as always, you don't have to worry about letting it go back and forth. Just got to enjoy it again. Yeah, that's true. And you got to definitely go with your favorite. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this one. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports Style. This is Lightful and Boomer thanking you for watching. And we'll see you all again for the next day of the NBA playoffs, game three on day two. Good night, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.